some of you over here noticed and some of you mentioned that today the Tanya that I'm using is a different Tanya than the one I usually use, different than the one that you always use. And there's a reason why I'm using this Tanya today. So this Tanya um, arrived in the mail to me. I got it in the mail on Erev Yom Tif, a few hours before Yom Tif, and it came together with a letter. So I would like to read you this, uh, this letter. Now, or just now? Or Rabbah. Well, John's saying just now, this year. Yeah. A few days ago. A few days ago. Monday morning. Yeah. Monday, 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 Monday. It's a new time. So this letter, the, this letter I received from someone who, um, he has a, a Tanya Shear. He gives a, as a Tanya study group in Michigan. And he writes as follows. Dear Naftali, this Tanya, edition 7533, was inspired by your description of the Rebbe's campaign. And also our classes are very much modeled on your online shira. Wow. So some of you might remember that a while ago we spoke about this idea. I don't remember exactly what, but it was a little more than a year ago. That the Rebbe, in the, in the late 1970s, in 1978, the Rebbe asked that Atanya should be printed in every single country in the world. And at a further point in the early 80s, around 1983, the Rebbe took it a step further, and the Rebbe said he wants a Tanya printed in every single city where there is a Yid. And uh, this is uh, obviously a very creative and innovative and different... Uh, the Rebbe didn't say, I want people learning Tanya everywhere, in which case would have been enough to print uh, 100,000 Tanyas in, in, in New York, or today probably they do it in China, and to ship it to everywhere. No, the Rebbe wanted... The Rebbe wanted that a Tanya, the physical Tanya, should be printed in every single... So, this Tanya is issue 7,533. In other words, the Tanya, with, this, with the printing of this Tanya, the Tanya has been printed 7,533 times throughout the world and pretty much every single, um, on every single continent and in cities that you would have known. In fact, in the back of every single Tanya, if you look, you'll see there's a listing of all the, of all the Tanyas where, where, they, where they've all been printed. I remember during the Six Day War, they, they printed the Tanya in the Sinai. In Sinai. Right. By the, um, by the canal, actually. Right. I'm not sure it was Six Day War, a little later, but yeah, they printed in Egypt in many places, and they printed later on in Lebanon, they printed in many places, yeah. So again, here it is. This Tanya edition 7533 was inspired by your description of the Rebbe's campaign and also our classes, because he runs a Tanya group, are very much modeled on your online shirim. Please accept this copy as a gift. It would mean a great deal if you could read from it while teaching one of your current classes on Igaris HaKadosh. Wishing you and your family a joyful festival season and hope to see you soon in the near future in Yerushalayim. Warmly, Michal. So here we have a Tanya, which is directly inspired by the shear here in Flatbush, a Tanya which is printed in Michigan, which is very, very meaningful to me and something which should be a source of pride to all of us over here. And the, realizing the impact that this Tanya class has, um, has around the world, Baruch Hashem. And Michael, it's Sar Israel. Right, Sar Hamayim. Now, <laughs> we, we, when we spoke about this last time, we spoke about how the... Um, the, the Rebbe said at that time, the Rebbe quoted a very famous letter from the Baal Shem Tev. The Baal Shem Tev wrote a letter to his brother-in-law. And in his, in his brother-in-law, he described a vision that he had, or, the, or as the Baal Shem Tev describes it, he ascended to heaven. It was on Rosh Hashanah, actually. And in heaven, he found the chamber of Mashiach. Who's this? The Baal Shem Tev. Baal Shem Tev had Shem Tev. described, yes. And... In the chamber of Mashiach, he went, he found Mashiach, and he asked Mashiach, Emosai Ko'asi Mar, when are you coming? Reminiscent of the Gemara, Rabbi Shua ben Levi. And Mashiach answered, like, that when your wellsprings, the wellsprings of Chassidus, will be spread, chutza, to the most outermost regions, and that's when Mashiach is going to come. And the Rebbe pointed out, it doesn't say, which means when the waters of your wellsprings are spread to the farthest places, but when the wellsprings themselves reach the farthest places. The Rebbe says, if I'm going to print the Tanyas here in New York and ship them off everywhere, that's not the wellspring, that's the water from the wellspring. That means that the source is 
in in in, in Crown Heights, or if I print them in Eretz Yisrael, or whatever it may be, Kfar Chabad, Yerushalayim, and everyone else is receiving. Though the point is, we have to have the Mayan itself, the wellspring itself, has to be in every single area, and that's why they ever wanted the Tanish be printed in every single place where there's Yidden around the world, and bringing the Mayan literally as uh, as an, in an effort to bring Mashiach even closer.